Hello guys, welcome to my channel guys. Today I am going to upload about uh, unit wise important uh, questions for uh, big data analytics. See I have uploaded uh, all the unit wise important questions guys. See where I have given some uh, short answer questions. Actually we don't have any uh, big data analytics previous question papers. Uh, we do find the other university papers but not for the uh, JNTUH paper even if you find also the syllabus it will completely varies from the previous question papers so we can't predict uh, how we are going to get the question papers for the big data analytics so this is my prediction so in the first unit uh, um, prepare these questions like uh, what is the importance of the big data how many V's of big data are there so like uh, what are the applications of big data and uh, what are the drivers of big data and uh, explain about uh, um, applications of big data what are the main drivers where it will force to move into the big data here and uh, what is the compare and contrast about the traditional bi versus big data what are the challenges that which we are facing with the big data and uh, complete ecosystem of the big data this is my prediction where from the unit one there may be a chance of get, getting these questions guys and then uh, moving on to the unit two here uh, so these are the few uh, short questions uh, from the unit two guys so we have to prepare like uh, HDFS, Mobile BI and uh, what is meant by parallel computing, what are the functionalities of Hadoop YAN, what is meant by predictive analytics, define uh, as, pass, as and uh, what is the difference between open source and proprietary tools in big data and what are the functionalities of the Hadoop YAN. And then if you move to the long answer questions here, uh, see first you read what is that Hadoop parallel world, why we went to the term parallel world and all and then uh, how the data can be discovered and how we can present using the bi tools uh, like data visualization tools and then uh, uh, read about these uh, uh, minimum uh, six questions are there only these are the few topics so don't skip it uh, you read the entire uh, unit two here and again about mobile bi and uh, focus on what is meant by crowdsource analytics and what is that cloud and big data you just compare and contrast how there is the relationship between the cloud and big data and compare and contrast about the open source technologies and the proprietary tools these are only six questions are there from the unit two and moving on to the unit three here um, see unit three syllabus is also very less so just i gave only the few questions like uh, what are the components of the hadoop ecosystem and um, what are the components of the hadoop ecosystem and uh, what are the uh, data flow representations in uh, Hadoop and uh, what is meant by serialization and uh, explain the understandings of inputs and outputs of the map reduce and, uh, and data serialization. I think three to four concepts are there. Prepare all these concepts. So whatever the uh, topics which are less, uh, prepare one, unit one, unit two and unit three. Why? Because the syllabus is very less. And if you go on moving to the unit four here, uh, in the unit four a little bit syllabus is uh, they have increased for the unit 4 guys so but still uh, i have framed a few important questions for the unit 4 also no need to worry here so i have given like um, what is the anatomy of file read and file write in hadoop guys and then uh, moving on to the this one uh, we are having a uh, hadoop hdfs architecture briefly explain about the hdfs architecture is also one of the important question and then uh, um, we need to read about uh, secondary name node data node and as well as the so, name nodes read completely about these three nodes apart from that uh, read about the hdfs architecture read about hbase hive and as well as apache pig apart from that read about what is meant by the map reduce what is that mapping reduce framework what is that the diagrams architecture features limitations everything you write on from top to bottom what you know about map reduce and all and uh, briefly explain about the name node with a neat diagram completely explain what is that name node how the nodes will be given what is the distribution um, how the files can be um, divided and how we are going to dump it in the hdfs everything explain it and uh, explain about the data nodes i said already and compare and contrast about uh, rdbms versus hadoop and uh, what are the distributors of the hadoop also that is also one of the important question apart from that only just these are enough guys for uh, external point of view and if you move to the unit 5 unit 5 also the syllabus is very less so only these uh, six questions are there uh, uh, in the unit 5 also so no need to worry guys uh. so if you see here uh, 
we are having only the supervised learning techniques and as well as the uh, collaborative filtering we are having the collaborative filtering is one topic and unsupervised learning so if you go for the supervised or unsupervised whatever the techniques which will comes under the supervised and unsupervised explain in detail about uh, each and every question why because there may be a chance of getting all these questions for 10 marks and uh, read about what is that uh, mobile analytics how the mobile analytics plays a major role nowadays uh, and what are the tools that which we are having everything you read about that mobile analytics and then social media analytics and then uh, big data analytics with big r how there is a relationship between the big data analytics with big r explain about the complete uh, details about the r programming also apart from the packages open source things uh, how the data visualization can be done uh, with the help of the big data and all so you focus on these questions guys uh, from the external point of view so i hope you like this video guys so if you want any other further videos please comment me in the comment section so that i can provide the same so thank you for watching guys